15. Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Windex CJ. And this is the first time you've seen my channel or any of my videos, I make gaming related content surrounding so bringing positivity to you. And today we're gonna have a little bit of a a little bit of a lax discussion. Nothing too crazy, not too serious. But if you guys follow my channel or you just follow Apex Legends in general, um, at the time of this recording, they released a new story from the Outlands trailer also titled North Star, which covers the new legend that's going to be coming to the games in season nine, also known as Legacy. We'll get into that in a little bit. And I just wanted to talk to you guys about Valkyrie and like season nine and some personal opinions and thoughts that I have that I feel might be relevant to discuss. So if anything that I say piques your interest or you want to discuss it more be sure to leave it down in the comments below and let me know what you think about what i say what's going on and please if you do be sure to keep it civil not trying to come for anybody or anything and not trying to come for me or anyone else but you know let's talk about some things so first things first i want to talk about valkyrie herself now if you haven't seen the story from the outlast trailer or read up on any of her lore she is the daughter of one of the apex predator pilots from the titanfall 2 game viper and he was the pilot of the north star titan if you're not familiar with the titanfall universe or the titanfall games that's pretty much the games that's in the same universe as apex legends but are the i guess you could say the precursor to apex legends because they come before that and that's pretty much where you have pilots or soldiers who pilot mechs essentially and these mechs have different capabilities and can do certain things. As far as Valkyrie is concerned, um, her father, Viper, piloted the North Star Titan in Titanfall 2. This Titan was specifically designed to be more maneuverable in the air. So it had pretty much a giant jetpack with cluster missiles and hover abilities. And you see it pretty much all the time in multiplayer in the campaign. And because of this, after he's defeated and her whole story combines and falls through, we now see that she uses some of the North Star chassis in the Apex games. And that's not really confirmed, but it's kind of confirmed from the art and from leaks. And it's all sort of just coming together to make sort of say the same thing. But essentially, she's going to be using that chassis to emulate some of the North Star's ability, but not in a full Titan form. And I find this really interesting because um, if you guys don't really remember at the beginning, like when Apex Legends first really came out, Respawn was like really hard and avid and like, we don't want to put Titans in the game. We don't want to do anything like that because we don't want to set off the, like the balance and stuff like that. And I find this as like a really, really clever way to incorporate that love for like the Titanfall universe and the Titanfall games and ever since the games have been released they've been pulling stuff from titanfall and adding it to apex legends whether it's weapons or abilities things like that you know bits and pieces here but nothing like no main staple like titan stuff and with valkyrie this is like the very first like titan thing that we see so i find this really interesting because firstly again this is the first time we see anything of this caliber so that really opens the door for a lot of different things at least titan wise we've already seen them pull weapons from the titanfall universe and abilities but now we're seeing them pull titan attributes and titan functions even if it's like super scaled down to just a person that concept is still there and i'm just spitballing here so nothing is really sort of scripted or anything like that i'm just saying what's coming to mind after after seeing all this and just digesting it for a little bit I also find this very interesting because um, if you guys have been keeping up with what Respawn are doing, they're trying to implement more like game modes and styles into Apex Legends. So not just like a battle royale type thing, but there's been like rumors and stuff going around of like a 3v3 team deathmatch mode and like game modes similar to that. So it's not really battle royale, but maybe like head to head team stuff. You know some like more shootery type things that don't really rely on the last man standing and i feel with the addition of season nine which isn't really season nine because they're not going with numbered season anymore it's going to be called legacy so with the addition of 
the name change essentially with the new style of character that they're bringing and their plans for the future i feel like apex legends has sort of started a new beginning and a new chapter for what they're trying to do with this game they're trying to make it and to me it seems like they're trying to make it more than just a battle royale game it seems like they're trying to move forward into more of like a central hub for i don't know really but that's what it's shaping up to be more than just a battle royale game but we don't know anything too specific yet and i think with the addition of valkyrie we'll start to see more of that round out and fill that role of it being more than just a battle royale game because obviously now with first we saw with horizon with her verticality ability and before that we have like pathy and octane and like certain characters who could move and do certain things that were sort of out of the bounds of natural movement just like running and jumping now we pretty much have someone who can pretty much fly so that really opens a lot of doors in terms of gameplay in terms of story in terms of lore in terms of a lot of different things and one thing that respawn and apex legends have been doing really well is shaping their story and their lore not only from the titanfall universe but from their own game perspective as well so it's been really interesting to see how these things shape out and really come to be and again guys this is me just spitballing just throwing ideas at you throwing having a nice little discussion with you so if you have anything that you agree with disagree with anything that i that may have piqued your interest watching these videos or reading up on the lore please let me know in the comments down below if you like these style of videos then be sure to leave a like on the video as it helped me out a lot. I like talking to you guys. I like talking about things about gaming. I love brainstorming. I love being skeptical about what could happen next for games, especially Apex, because Apex is a really, really good, really, it's a really good game. And they're doing a lot of cool things with it. So it's really interesting to like dive into these stories and these characters and flesh out what could be and what couldn't be. And again, guys, if you did enjoy the content, please be sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you guys come out and hang out with me again, and we can talk about more stuff. But until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video. It's been your boy, YNDXCJ. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.